What's going on guys at Comic Conroe? Jesse Hobson coming from Cinedum.com. I'm here with Scorpion himself. Chris, actually, how about I say Keith Cook? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, we're with uh, Chris. How do you say your last name? Casamassa. Casamassa. It's that's a good Italian name. That's very good. I like it. I like it. It's, uh, it makes me hungry. Red Dragon himself is here. Uh, so can you tell me about that experience and kind of what you got, how that got you into the door? Yeah, so for WMAC Masters, I actually got scouted from a martial arts tournament. I was at a, a championship in Atlanta where I had won the championship that night. The producers from the show were in the audience and they came up to me and a couple other guys afterwards and said, hey, we're putting the show together featuring real martial artists that talks about the martial arts values. Uh, and it's going to be a great TV show. Do you want to be in it? And I was like, uh, yes, please. Of course. Uh, it's something I always wanted to do. And uh, then I heard nothing for like three months as kind of the movie business goes. Yep. But uh, then we got a call and ended up going to Orlando and shooting the pilot. And then the show got picked up by Fox for like three years. One of my favorite films, uh, and it's it's pretty pretty good. It has uh, It's called Shoot Fighter. <laughs> it's a great film. has a little bit of Martin Cove. A little bit of William Zapka, a little bit of Bolo. Uh, I think it's great. It also stars my really good friend Michael Bernardo, who was also a champion around the same time I was uh, on tours. A great. I got to play Creon from Greece in Shoot Fighter to work with Bolo from Enter the Dragon, which is one of my favorite movies. And then Billy Zapka. Uh, I got to work with him a couple times on this, and uh, he was actually on WMAC the first season. That's right. Yeah. That's the connection. Uh, so what's really cool about this is it's a little bit uh, change of pace. It's uh, it's not necessarily the Karate Kid characters that we know doing something a little bit different. Did you expect the resurgence, or what do you think about the resurgence of uh, Karate Kid happening, and uh, you know that being this big, you know Netflix, um, I guess hit. Right. Uh, I think it's great. It's great for the martial arts industry itself. Exactly. It's inspiring a whole new generation of, of kids to be actively involved in the martial arts, which is good. I mean, uh, we've got studios in L.A., so it's good for business. You know, obviously we have Mortal Kombat on Blu-ray. Uh, one of my favorite scenes in this is the one with you and Lyndon Ashby in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, that scene was obviously filmed after the fact. No, the wood scene was The wood filmed. scene? Okay, so the rep... During the regular production. Okay, that's interesting because I, I just heard different a moment ago. So tell me how that went, went down. How did the wood scene come into play? So we were in Thailand, okay. and Lyndon and I had rehearsed the entire fight scene for weeks. I was actually there in Thailand for three weeks, Okay. and we were doing rehearsals, but shoot schedules get pushed, and, and they got behind schedule. So on the last day, they finally decided they're going to get to the fight with Lyndon and I. It was supposed to take place in the forest. Okay. And they just ran out of time. And they're like, well, we're just going to have it end. Uh, the original cut that you never see yeah. is Lyndon runs at me and hits me with that kick, and then that knocks me out. So they took that version to the screeners, and they did test screenings with audiences and things like that. And Larry Kazanoff, the producer, uh, t told me later, he goes, when that scene came on, the kids in the audience stood up, threw their popcorn at the screen, and said there's no way that Scorpion would ever lose to Johnny Cage like that, <laughs> ever. He said it was literally a riot, and it didn't happen once. It happened three, four times in a row. So then they knew, shit, we gotta film this, we gotta film this thing. So I think that's what Keith was talking about, is we filmed that, the rest of the fight scene after the fact. So okay. it was the scene that was supposed to happen in the forest, but during original production, they ran out of time. So they, in Santa Monica, they built this big airport hangar, and what you see in Scorpion's Lair is actually, that's real, that's yeah. not CGI. They built that, and we, Lyndon and I, fought up on that platform. It was about 20 feet up in the air with no safety nets on the side. It was back in, you know, before yeah. they did all yeah. that. So it was, it was really crazy that, that they did it. But it's because of the fans that that fight scene actually happened. So I tell people all the time, it's because of you and your support that we had that badass fight scene. That, and, and looking back, you know, especially as a kid, that kind of haunted me because it almost felt like you were going into like a, a Freddy Krueger like, like, like space. Right. And it kind of added this really ultimate element to the character of Scorpion. So, you know, that's, you kept me up at night. And uh, as much as I hate to say that, I, I love it. Um, you know, and then going from one Mortal Kombat to another Mortal Kombat, we have Mortal Kombat Conquest. And um, I actually interviewed uh, Christina Loken, and uh, it's funny because she said that, that she's uh, Terminator 3. Yes. She said that, um, you know, she's credited as had knowing Krav Maga, but she does not know any Krav Maga. And uh, I was curious as to your experience on this film, and also to kind of keeping in, in the, the Christina Loken um, 
idea. Uh, is there anything about you online that isn't true, like that people come up and ask you about? Well, you know, according to the internet, I'm, I'm dating a French model. Hell yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, no, Cristana was, was great. It was awesome to work with her and meet with her. She got to do Terminator after that. And, but the series was awesome. I, I got to reprise my role, and thanks again to Larry Kazanoff yep. for bringing me on board on that because it kind of did some origins of, uh, of Scorpion yeah. on there with uh, Takeda and all that whole little backstory. So that was cool. When I heard we were going to do that, I was really excited and happy to be back on the project. I want to end with uh, something a little bit different here. I know you've done a little bit different uh, things, not just um, in front of the camera, but behind the camera. You do some choreography, some stunts. You did some uh, Batman and Robin Blade. But uh, that, while, while that's really cool and all, I really want to talk about Food Fight. Um, you, did, you did a little motion capture for a film called Food Fight yes, I did. that is, uh, as, is, I guess the internet would call the worst film ever made. Yes. And it's, it's one of those ones that I think kind of goes down in history or will go down in history as like The Room or like the movies that you watch when you're um, drinking or inebriated or maybe having some extracurricular activities. And it's, uh, it's the whole story behind that film is, is a film in itself. Mm -hmm. But I want to know how you got to be a part of that well i got to do the mocap for uh for the lead character which was dex dog detective if i remember correctly <laughs> uh which was a blast and listen on paper that was a great yeah and a great concept behind it but for whatever reason like not every production goes as planned and and just kind of got tweaked in there but i was brought in on that because again larry you know the producer of it uh, brought me in and we did some cool stuff as Dex Dog Detective, but just yeah. didn't play out. It's it's a really neat idea, and I you know for anyone that is watching out there and is you know shitting on films ultimately, uh, I I can tell you without a doubt the fact that films sometimes even get made is a task within itself. So shit on Food Fight all you want, you know there's a lot of stuff that kind of comes into play that they didn't bring into play with that film, and we're talking about it still to this day, and uh, that's, I think, what really matters. So I, th I appreciate your time, sir. Uh, is there anything you want to mention before we go? Uh, no, I mean, if you want to follow me on Instagram or, or Facebook or YouTube, just type in my name, I'm right there, it'd be great. Excellent. Uh, thank you for coming to Conroe. Thanks for and having me. And that's all we got, thank you guys.